Our next presenter is Maurilio Matrascia with Digital Inequality. What is the longest period of time we can productively spend without any type of connectivity? Tough question, right? I would say probably less than one single day because being unconnected means not having access to any kind of online healthcare, education, entertainment, social, and commerce services. This is a recent map from the International Telecommunication Union showing the network deployment worldwide. Although most of the unconnected uh, um, areas are located in sparsely populated and remote regions, they are actually home to 40% of the global population. The main limitations for further spreading telecom infrastructure are the costs of digging optic fiber and building cell towers, as well as the scarce availability of reliable power grids. Several solutions have been proposed recently, but none of them can currently fix the problem on its own due to either technological, environmental, or economic constraints. For instance, deploying large constellations of satellites brings a huge risk of collision, and they work with long delays, while aerial base stations have low autonomy and low resilience to harsh weather. So what if there was a way to exploit the existing infrastructure in rural areas to host and power cellular transceivers. Large wind turbines are deployed in many countries, come with a reliable power grid, and can offer twice the height of cell towers, meaning that they would be able to cover much larger areas. Moreover, they would be compatible with any other network architecture, and being connected to overhead power lines allows us to completely cut the costs of digging for optical fiber by wrapping it around the lines themselves. Huge investments have been already planned in developing countries for further improving the wind energy harvesting industry and combining power and telecom operators' business interests might be the key for achieving multiple United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. In Ethiopia, one of our case studies we have also proved by simulation that just three wind turbines, two of them already existing, would be able to significantly improve the digital experience in terms of data rate to over 90,000 people. So breaking the wall of digital inequality is a huge humanitarian and business opportunity that we must take advantage of. Thank you very much.